Hey, this is Eric, and in this video we're going to look at how to create math activities for your students in Jamboard using the free Equatio extension. Jamboard is an excellent tool for creating interactive learning activities for students. However, if you're wanting to create math activities, Jamboard does not have many built-in math features other than a small collection of shapes. Thankfully, there's a powerful tool that is also free for educators that can be used to easily add all sorts of mathematical manipulative symbols and expressions to Jamboard. That tool is the Equatio extension for Chrome. Equatio is a toolbar that makes it super easy to create mathematical expressions as well as a wide variety of math manipulatives and insert them into Google Docs, Slides, Forms, and more. In this video, we'll be looking specifically at how to do that in Jamboard. The first thing you'll need to do is install the Equatio extension if you do not have it installed already. A link to the extension can be found below this video, but you can also find it by going to the Chrome Web Store at chrome.google.com slash web store and simply searching for Equatio. Once we find the extension, we'll click the Add to Chrome button to install it, click Add Extension, and once it's installed, the Equatio extension will show up in the top right-hand corner of Chrome. Don't forget to click on the extensions icon and pin the Equatio extension so that it will stay visible in your extensions list. Next, you will want to upgrade to the premium version, which is free for educators. Equatio has a free version and a paid version, but all educators are allowed to have the paid version at no cost. This will give you a lot of features that you will want to have. Simply fill out the form at text.help slash FFT. TextHelp is the company that makes Equatio, and FFT stands for Free for Teachers. Within a day, you should be upgraded to the premium version. Now we're ready to use Equatio to insert some math into Jamboard. To launch Equatio, we'll simply open up a Jamboard file and then click on the Equatio extension icon in the top right-hand corner of Chrome. The Equatio toolbar will now open at the bottom of the screen. Before we start adding math from Equatio to our Jamboard, we may want to double check the Equatio settings. Simply click on the Equatio logo in the bottom left corner and then choose Options from the pop-up menu. In the window that pops up, now choose Math Options. Here I like to set the math font size to XX large. Uh, this creates a higher resolution image, so it doesn't look pixelated if you need to resize it. Then just click Save to exit. Now that everything is set up, we can start adding math to our Jamboard. There are a lot of buttons on the Equatio toolbar to help us with this, but I'm just going to highlight some of my favorites. First, there is the Equation Editor button. This is perfect if you want to type in the math you need. As you type, Equatio will make suggestions to help you complete your math. We can also click on the three dots button to access a gallery of symbols and layouts and formulas. Once you are happy with the math that has been created, you can insert it into your Jamboard by clicking on the Copy Math As button in the far right-hand corner of the Equatio toolbar, and then choosing Image from the pop-up menu. The math is now copied and can simply be pasted into your Jamboard as normal with Control v or whatever method you prefer to paste with. Another great tool in the toolbar is the Handwriting Recognition button. This allows you to draw out your math and then creates the nice image version of it. When done, you can copy and paste the finished image just like before. To 
insert that into our Jamboard. Another useful button on the toolbar is the Graph Editor tool. This allows us to easily make graphs of equations and then insert those into Jamboard as usual. My favorite tool for adding math though is the Insert Math Space button. When you click this, it opens up a new tab where you can make many other exciting math graphics. On this screen, the toolbar will have many of the same buttons, but it adds some new ones too. For example, there's a Shapes button that has dozens and dozens and dozens of math-related images that you can select from and insert. Better yet though, it has the Smart Shapes button. This allows you to create dynamic shapes that you can adjust the properties of to make the exact math manipulative you need. We'll take a look at a few examples. First, there's the number line tool. We'll simply drag that out, and then we get a pop-up on the side that allows us to make adjustments. In this case, we can adjust the number of segments on our number line, as well as whether labels are displayed or not, where the number line starts, and how many numbers it jumps up by on each step. The next tool is the grid tool. Again, simply stretch out our grid, and then we can adjust the number of columns and the number of rows as needed. For any shapes that have a fill color, we can go up to the Change Fill Color button at the top to pick a different color for our shape. The next smart shape is the protractor. Again, we can just drag that out, and then in the panel on the side, we can adjust the major graduations and the minor graduations. We can also turn on labels or off. The next smart shape tool is the coordinate plane. Once we drag that out, we can adjust things such as the number of ticks on the plane, whether the arrows are shown, and whether the labels are shown. Next up in the Smart Shapes, we have the Fraction Bar. Once we drag that out, we can adjust how many segments we want and then how many of those segments are filled in. Again, remember, you can change the color at any point that you would like. The next tool is the Fraction Circle, which functions very much like the Fraction Bar. Again, we can change how many segments and how many of those segments are filled in. Next up is the Polygon tool. Simply stretch out the shape, and then on the side we can adjust how many sides we want for our polygon. After that, our next smart shape is the Angle Measure tool. We'll go ahead and stretch out our angle, and then on the side we can adjust the degree that the angle starts at and the degree that it ends at. We can also choose to show arrows if we want, and whether or not we want to have the label shown or not. And the final smart shape that I'm going to demonstrate is the clock. We'll simply drag it out, and then on the far right-hand side here, we can set the time that we want to have displayed on the clock. And of course, we can also decide to remove the hands if we want the students to add them themselves, or we can display the hands, and we can also switch this from regular numer numerals to Roman numerals. Now, regardless of which shape or smart shape we create, once we're done adjusting the properties, we can always insert it back into Jamboard as an image. For example, let's say I do a fraction circle, and we'll set this to... 5 eighths. That looks good. When we're all done, we'll go to the very top right hand corner and we'll see an insert button. We'll go ahead and click on that button. When we click the button, it will close out of the math space and return us to Jamboard with the image copied. Again, we'll want to paste that in whichever way works for you. Control V, right click, paste, etc. And there's our shape added on to our Jamboard. 
By using the Equatio toolbar, we can build lots of creative interactive math activities in Jamboard for our students. I had some fun trying out lots of different options, and I built a sample Jamboard with a collection of activities to demonstrate some possibilities. If you'd like to get a copy of that file for inspiration, the link is available in the description below this video. Let's take a look at some of the sample activities. First, we have an activity where the students would drag and drop the fractions to the shaded shapes that represent those fractions. For the next example, the students would drag and drop these shapes to match them in pairs that represent equivalent fractions. For example, 1 fourth and 2 eighths. In the next example, the students would drag and drop the sticky notes down to the clocks that show those specific times, such as 3 o'clock coming down here to this clock. In this next example, the students would use the pen tool to draw in hands on the clock to show the new time. In this case, we're adding an hour and 45 minutes onto this time, so we would draw 9, 30. In the next example, we're going to use the protractor to measure the angles below. When we think we have our answer, then we can move the sticky notes out of the way to see the result. In this next activity, the students will randomly create some coordinates and then place those into the sticky notes below. Then they will drag and drop the corresponding dot onto the grid to plot that set of coordinates. And for the last example, the students will drag and drop the equations onto the correct graphs for those equations. And that's it. By using the Equatio extension, you can create all sorts of math manipulatives, shapes, symbols, expressions, equations, and more, and turn your Jamboards into interactive math learning activities. To access all of the resources covered in this video, be sure to check out the links in the description below the video. And be sure to check out all my other videos, blog posts, and resources on my site at controlaltachieve.com.